Welcome, everyone, to week 16, season three of the official UE podcast. I'm your host, Terry, and joining me today, as always, is Daryl. How's it going, sir? Yeah, good. Good. Thank you. Busy. Busy, and and I'm done with Tinder, so we'll get to that later. <laughs> He's done with Tinder and done. big lips. Big lips. Uh, yep. No, we no. haven't actually asked where those lips were located, but uh, well, yeah. I, I, anyway, left, uh, I, left the, I left them in the piano bar in Birmingham, so someone can go and get You're grim. Yeah. Um, and also joining us this week is our special guest, Dave, Mr. Dave Hammond. How's it going, sir? Very well. Love to be in Faddy's uh, hot seat. It's not very comfy, mind, because uh, in the middle, I think it's got a dildo or a butt plug or something. <laughs> station there yeah. so that's why oh he's got a smile on his face it's usually a rolling pin yeah. uh. <laughs> <laughs> just just ease it just to ease it in uh <laughs> well i suppose that as usual we'll start off with, you know how did we get on this week i think mean, we have to start with our guest here well actually we can start matter, with both of you. yeah <laughs> <laughs> Um, well, I'll, I'll, yeah, let's, let's, let, let's let Daryl get his excuses out of the way. You go first, Daryl. No, so, yeah, I, I, didn't, <laughs> I didn't actually send my turn this week. Um, I've been super busy. I, it's not even an excuse. I just didn't do it. I'm not trying to make excuses. I, Dave's a very good team anyway. Like, it would have always been difficult, whatever. Um, yeah, I didn't actually send it. So it defaulted to the team I had last week, which meant no Master Tactic and no Armstrong are pretty much the only two things that would have been different. I don't know how big a difference they would have made. To be honest, I'm still really pleased. We only lost 3 2. Um, still gave them a game. Uh, the new guys aren't settling as great. I brought in new anchor man, new playmaker. Their ratings haven't been the best in the system. Um, although one did get a goal this week. But no, I'm still kind of pleased. Uh, just, yeah, it was, it was the wrong game for me to fall asleep after being on the phone till half past two in the morning. So. Yeah, I need to start doing my. <laughs> I need to do my turn earlier because I'm, earlier. I'm not. I'm not chasing deals at the weekend like you was at the beginning. So there's no excuse of me waiting. Um, so I'm going to try and get it done uh, much earlier. I could sit here in a, in the evening in the week. So I think I'm going to start to try and do that. But no, Dave did beat me three two. Keeps me second. I'm still five points of fourth. So I, I just I need to bounce back next week and and get back into the swing of it. But yeah, I did lose. This time, but it's about time Dave beat me because he hasn't really managed to do it the times that we played. I think, <laughs> think, think, he's only, think he's only beat me once, even all his domination. So you know, let him have his little, <laughs> let him have his moment, let him have his moment. <laughs> oh, let's yeah, let's indeed let's let him have his moment. Uh, Dave, your thoughts? There is no moment. He didn't send his bloody turn. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what can you do? I mean, the only thing, the only thing I'm really interested in in the turn this week is um my center forward in the reserves got a hat trick and got a, a nice match rating would you say devil yeah it wasn't bad it wasn't bad i wasn't gonna bring that up yeah. thanks Dave. he got a <laughs> hundred. Big one. he got a hundred. 100 no yeah really? yeah 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 he got a hundred and a hat trick and man of the match yeah he got a hundred in his reserves. i have never ever no. in my entire life seen that in ue first time ever I mean, Bergamp, 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 in, in the legend Bergamp. game, Burkamp should have that every single game. But yeah, no, he's, he got he got a hundred in the reserves. First time I've ever seen it. But it's quite funny. So in my reserves, they played my right back at anchor man and captained him. So I, I don't know what happened there, but <laughs> I'm, yeah. I'm, definitely, I'm definitely not letting it happen. It's funny because in the middle of your park is is Guyvin. He used to play for me, centre mid. He's my he, old centre mid. He, he He's a good he lad. Did. He's a good player. He's a good player. He's, he's a good player. He's got leadership on him now as well. Ah. Oh, he could. Ooh, nice. Yeah, he's determination and leadership. So, hmm. It's but a good yeah. combination there. I, I was a bit worried um, when, when I had it because I wasn't sure if it's just essentially kind of like doubling up. You know, a leader, a leader is someone who's determined and influences the team. But maybe it's, uh, you know, I've always sort of tried to think of it as more of like a determination plus pro sort of thing but mm. um yeah it's interesting to see to see how it's working i mean my, my center midfielder off has been sensational since i've done it yeah center midfield this this time around because normally when i did the four five one i'd play just anchor man and playmaker which is what i've kind of shifted to a bit now but like and before that i've always got a center mid there to like come on off the bench and stuff i feel like it's a much more important role 
in this one, especially in like the four or five ones. Um, so we'll see. I'm, I may go back to it because I'm not sure about this new playmaker I got because I pushed Sabitzer back out wide while Gil was injured. And I'm not sure. I know the playmaker scored, but the ratings haven't impressed me much. So, but we'll see. Yeah. Okay. So Bits is too good to be not in the middle of the park. See, that's again, that's the thing. When Gil's back, he'll go back into playmaker. It's just trying to get through that. But um, yeah, Sabitz, I've got to go through the middle. But the thing is, is the way we play sometimes is, is quite out wide, but it's difficult. Now I'm, I'm spoilt for choice, which is, which is nice to be positioned to be in. To be. But yeah, i am definitely got to resend it because we, 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 can't, we can't, we have to let that just be a blip. I thought, was, <laughs> I thought it was quite interesting. I was, I was a bit worried at you countering me. I know you play going hard in defence, and uh, I had to play my right forward that uh, has five aggression. I was thinking you might have doubled up on that this week. No, see, what I would have done to... is I would have played attack on the break in Master. Yeah, that, I, I, I did I expect played. that. Yeah, that's but, what I would have uh, done and tried to go out wide. Um, yeah, it, I would have tried to keep it out the middle because, like, through the middle of, of the park is, you know, Saul is pretty good, you know. So, yeah, I would have tried to keep it out the middle. So, Saul, he's gone. Oh, you've already gone. He's gone. <laughs> Fifey raped my ass massively this week, but I got, <laughs> I got what I wanted. So, you know, sometimes you've got to bum wash. But no, I, I'd still, you know, yes, it's annoying to lose, but it's my own fault. I still think me and Dave will be okay to go up, though. I, I still feel confident. Yeah, I, I think you both go up still. I mean, it's, it's obviously an uh, advantage, Dave, now, though. Well, I think Dave would now say. should go up as champion. I, I just... I, yeah, I have yeah to sorry. That that's a, that, a blip. But. Yeah. No, that's, that's a, that is what I meant. I, I, I thought, yeah, yeah, pretty much. I thought that's my, my, my thoughts on it was, like, Dave's going to win the title now. See, what was good Edge, for me Edge. is Club Bruges lost, Berlin lost... Uh, Everyone around you, Bayern yeah. Have got a draw. I mean, Locker and Cone, who I expect him to be the third team, Steve or Percy will be third. I still think it'll be Percy. Um, nothing against Steve. I know we had banter last week, but I think Percy will see that out. And then it'll be the three guys that come up from the fourth, go up to from the third, I think. Oh, very good. Well, we'll move on then. Confidence. Yeah. <laughs> but no, would you say, Dave, like going into the season, did you feel confident? Like I said it at the beginning of like when, oh, I looked, yeah. when I looked at the teams in the third, this is nothing against any of them, but I looked at them and I thought all three of us can actually beat all of these. Like on our day, we can beat anyone in this division. I think I, I, it's the first time I've got into a season and I've said it on here. I actually think I can go up straight away, you know? Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. You, you actually called you and Dave, actually. Yeah. If memory serves me right, I think you said it. You thought it would be between you two, and you thought I think you thought Steve maybe. Yes, yeah, Steve and Percy are, are the other ones there, but th there was no one in this division that, other than the two others wasn't that come up with me. Was I wasn't. You? I wasn't frightened of anyone really. And would you? Was you the same going into it? Would you say, Dave? Yeah, I, I thought. We, in a way, I thought we had a bit of an advantage being in Division Four because it gives us that season to build. Really, you know, not everybody can go up on season one so it was a case of build your build your team build your squad mm. and once you've got there you've got that second division in the f second season in the fourth you're probably a season ahead of the ones that are in the third because they're scrambling around a bit because there's better teams than them and you know it, it, it's hard for them to to get a grasp of, of winning really the winning groove yeah 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 so, but I was surprised that Jim Balls left Antwerp this week because yeah, he started I've, a good I've good got, run. I've got them this week too. I was actually it was game after you. Uh, I was like, it's a tough game to bounce back after playing Dave. But yeah, they're unmanaged now, so I was like, oh, they were doing all right. He'd won like three or four in a row. Yeah, he was he was on fire. Mm. So, a bit of a surprise, but uh, yeah. Did you guys have a uh, cup games this week? No, nah, I don't take the cup seriously. I'm no, out, oh, already out. Yeah, I go out <laughs> first. Hurdle. I think I've won one cup game in the last like three games I played. <laughs> <laughs> How about yourself, Dave? Uh, no, um, I did a, a random friendly. Uh, we ended up meeting Zagreb. Played oh. the mo most of the reserve team. We won three one. Um, some players disappointed badly. <laughs> 
Wow. Okay. Not, you know, not what you want to see, but um, oh, yeah. It says Dave said because like I've got a right back in my reserves that is ready to play. So he's just playing in friendlies and reserve games, and I'm tempted to maybe put my right my right my right back up for swap. But <laughs> he's playing too well. He's like rated the best defender in in the division three, you know, he's got the best rating, but I've got a guy in the reserves that's ready to go. So I'm like, what the hell do I do? <laughs> that, that's, you know, that's a tough one. I found in you is, is, is like, I mean, most, mostly my cold karma players. Cause I had that, uh, I got a Laurie as my main center back with 10 speed. And I swapped a guy called Gonzalez who, who was brilliant, but I think I, I got caught out. Uh, I think I had a sweeper suspended and I think, um, something else, uh, maybe, maybe Gonzalez suspended, but basically I had to play my goal karma centre back against Martin, and that was like I was fucking dreading that. I thought, oh god, yeah, my my best, my my new wonder kid is going to get his ass raped by by probably one who I consider one of the better managers in the game, and he had a stormer, and it was just like, oh shit, do I do I now swap my number one centre back and get other p- positions in because this guy can do it? It was it was definitely a, an odd one. Yeah, not, not a position I've been in the past. <laughs> Was it, wasn't uh, wasn't Buta the one you was going to swap for Sicarella? Uh, yes, that was, yes, mm. yeah, yeah. That would have been a big, big move, you know. Yeah, yeah. Sicarella is 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 the dream. I, I will reach out back to Liam, but it's 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 tough because where Sicarella's a bit older, like is it, this is where it annoys me with the deal. Sicarella may be a bit older in value wise, but he's perfect for my team. Like exactly what I need, you know, and yeah. I can't get yeah. the deal done with what Liam wants because Booter's worth like is a bit younger and is worth like 111 got pot. Even though that like, the deal does actually improve me because like in the reserves I've got Isky ready to go. Like this right back is ready to go. I can put him in, no drama. Um, but I can't get the deal. I can't get the deal done over the line. Yeah, it's annoying because Sicarella is I, yeah. I almost like the missing piece, you know. One one two one Salomeo. Yeah. <laughs> but I will reach <laughs> out to I will, I will reach out to Liam and try again. Cool stuff, cool stuff. So I Terry, think, let's um, get on to your misery. Uh yeah. no, my, my my week was good. I, I yeah, I won I beat I beat Juventus in the cup. So you know, um, yeah. 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 What, what yeah, else happened? Was... What else happened, uh... Uh, <laughs> Did you have a league uh... game this week? No, it's postponed, mate. Postponed, yeah. Water, uh, waterlog pitch with my tears. <laughs> 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 no, no, do you know what? Um, fair play. Jay beat me. Uh, Benfica, 2-1 to them. Uh, should I have done better? Yeah, I, I did make one glaring error tactically, which I never normally do. Um, I, it's uh, yeah, a tactic I always use, and it works. I didn't use it. Don't know why. Um, and I've checked, checked my MDS. Everything's right. I, what, what I put down was was spot on so that's fine i did rest a few players but i had an eye on the champions league because it's a big champions league game against jay next week and a big game against martin who i I always try and sort of make sure i've got my best team for against him because i I always find that the ultimate challenge you know i mean like playing the european champions in any whoever wins like if it's amir last year if i got him in the champions league i that would be the game i'd be looking at because that's the your yardstick so I kind of rested a few. I rested a couple that were on bookings. I, I, and you know what? He, he he got exactly what he deserved from the game. I I, sh- I should have took it more serious. Um, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, no faults there. Yeah, he, he he outplayed me. Fair play to him. But um, see, me and you not I, taking I, I, it serious this week is the only way they could beat us. You know that. Tough. Well, <laughs> no, I, do you know? What? I think no, because I think that'd be disingenuous. That'd be disingenuous for Jay. Really, I I took it serious, but. I, I tried to take liberties in my team. Do you know what I mean? I tried to like, I didn't want Arthur and Frimpong getting suspended because they were on five bookings. I had uh, Gilmore's weight and completely not ready yet. He's not fit to play. Uh, and I had about three players in my first team that had to sub off halfway through because they just, they're not fit because they've all come back from injury. And it was just, a, it was just like a, a, a patchwork of a team. Um, but it's, it's, you know, my, it's my standard middle of a season UE turn where, yeah, the UE gods uh, absolutely rinse my side of players, and yeah, that, that's that's the way it goes for me, unfortunately. But uh, hopefully, we yeah, we bounce bounce back next week. But um, the cup was a strange one. I I completely changed it up. I played a full 
second string, I, I think you'd have to say. Um, I think only one... Uh, let me have a look. Only one player from my first team started that, and that was my right wing back because my other one was injured. So <laughs> I had to play this right wing back um, uh, who, who plays my first team, and he got man of the match. But yeah, we beat Juventus 2-1 with a completely makeshift tide. I played a 5-4-1 with wing backs and a target man up top. And yeah, we snuck a 2-1 win. All about the target. But, yeah, mate, we play, we play Wimbledon style. Three, uh, two two centre-back sweeper, wing backs, four in midfield, target man, pump it long. <laughs> nice, get it done. <laughs> Shit hours in his finest. So, I've already apologised to Grant. I, I didn't, yeah, it's just... Yeah, Did what he can you play do? on the bump for... Uh, I, I, I couldn't tell without actually looking at his, his side. I... I I genuinely have like a brain, like a sieve. I don't really look at anyone's <laughs> teams. I, I just, yeah. I, I, yeah. I know some managers know they could like, they could reel off and up their rival side, like yeah. one after another. I, I, I know, I've I know some people's never done players. that type of scout. I, yeah, I did. I, when I, I when we got promoted in division four, I did scout the opposition because it was quite tight, but like yeah. now I, I, they don't play the way they play normally in the build-up to my match. So I, I could scout them yeah. three games and then they'll play. I was saying to Dave, actually, by text not so long ago, I was like, it gets into the game and, and they're completely different. They're trying to shithouse me. You know, they haven't played like they have done. So what's the point in me wasting a scout slot? It's just, I don't see the point anymore. I can tell enough from their squad list, you know, with the stuff I need to. I think it just becomes like, I can't imagine a mere bother scouting too much because they're going to change when they play in. Like, you can try and guess it, but... Yeah, for me, I've just uh, I I don't bother anymore. <laughs> That's oh, fair play. Fair I play. I don't even see my I, turn I, anymore. So you know, <laughs> I was I was chuffed with one thing though. I did have some nice rises for once, so really? I was there quite happy go. with that. Yeah, my uh, my goal karma centre back he went up, um, and Arthur the centre midfielder he went up as well. So that's two first teamers that both had a, a nice little rise. I had my two my mental things have finished in the last two weeks, but there's been no change in any stats or confidence or state of state of mind so i i don't know what that actually does well, I, I, I think i had a newer really scout in a youth uh center back just as like a test and his judgment yeah. went up his judgment did go up at the end of it uh yeah I've, I've had it once i've had it in one player where the judgment went up so that was good uh so it, it does something i suppose maybe it's what level have you found uh the mentoring dave um I've had nothing for it as yet. Um, I've got uh, I've got Vidal now mentoring a young anchorman, but uh, that must be coming to an end very soon. But as yet, I've had absolutely nothing. So it's uh, frustrating to see other people get benefits and you not. But perhaps it's the players you you're putting them with. Who knows? Yeah, it's, the, o- it's the only one I've had. It is the only one. But Anu has been a beast, so it doesn't shock me. <laughs> <laughs> Someone, there what was a it? rest of the world bid for him this week. I'm like, you've got no chance. He's dying here, even if he's just in the <laughs> That's reserve. it, that's it. I, do you know what? I've got, I've got a really nice bid for a player who I've, I've chucked in a couple of times in my reserves. I chucked him into like the reserve team yeah, to, to start the game. And he's been dog shit every time. And then you're like, you're looking at him and you're like, oh, you're worth like six million. And you get like an eight and a half million rest of the world bid today. And I was just like, yeah, pack your bag, son. You're off. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, but yeah, let's let's move on. I, I thought we'd um, have a quick look at, um, well, a quick eye over on the Southern Leagues this week. Um, if uh, Have you guys got the, the, yeah. the, the, Rest of the world, all, all the league, sort of that that doctrine. Everything. That, uh, Everything. Yeah, have, have you got that at to hand, Dave? I've got the seven up now, no problem. Lovely stuff. Yeah, so we'll start with. Uh, I mean, we're going to have a main dive on Division Four this week. Um, Sicarella, Sicarella <laughs> at Santa Clara. He yeah. is after him, Liam. Yeah, watch it, watch it. Yeah. No, the, me and Liam, but we've been, we've always been in conversation like two seasons now, but there's just it's difficult. It's difficult. But um, but <sighs> but what a team he's got there, and what a season he's having. Like all jokes aside, like his team yeah, is, yeah. is is awesome. You know? But can I can I? I mean, the first thing I mean, obviously for you know people, yeah, you know, hopefully everyone can see how the league's looking if they if they look on their turns and can't go on the Discord. Obviously, uh, Nath is kind enough to drop the. 
the worldwide uh, tables for everyone to, to, to download and use. But currently it stands at Santa Clara, top on 35 points, managed by Liam Jackson. Then the Doctor is managing Benevito, <laughs> their second. Uh, the Doctor, I always think that's like Rossi from the uh, Superbikes, but uh, MotoGP, sorry. Uh, <laughs> and uh, Toby Marsh for Brescia is third. Um, the, one of the big standout things I, I thought here is actually uh, speaking of the devil who who shares the, who's kind enough to share these documents uh, for us is Naif, uh, Naif and Callow Tondela. I mean, how different could his season be if he could turn some of those bloody draws around? Oh, I only be, lost one game all season. He'd be he'd be top. He'd be pushing Liam at the top. <laughs> like it's insane, isn't it? I mean, like, granted, he's only just, two wins away. Yeah, from being like, top. He's not far, but he's got he's he seems to be getting a bit more into it now. He's like what two wins in three? I know he won this week as well. But yeah, if he two or three of them draws had been wins, he yeah, he'd be three draws. If he had won three of them from three draws, he'd be joint top with with Santa Clara. So yeah, yeah, yeah. he'd be uh, he'll be frustrated, I think, because what's this the third season in Division Four? And he can't. He seems to have these little blips at some point of the season. So hopefully, he's had it early enough that he can get on a run towards the end. That will be key. Yeah, he's he's made a lot of changes in the last couple of weeks, transfer wise. Yeah, he's been busy. Yes, he has. Yeah, he has, he has been he's, busy. he's been very busy. So uh, and now Deportivo yeah. unmanaged won't he won't be too upset with that. Like no, be no, it stirs it up a little bit, depending on if someone people. takes over. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like me. Just and, and, maybe, maybe, you think this... maybe me and Dave will joint manage just to upset them all. Yeah. <laughs> I send the turn and you fall asleep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dave's well, right. Dave's one right. thing I, I would mention is obviously, uh, yeah, be interested to get you, your, your guys' thoughts on it. He was, um, Nath was trying to get in 10 speed wingers and fullbacks to, to suit the formation at the start struggled with it a bit and then decided to sell or uh, swap the the ones he did have in those certain positions in key positions for n- very good nine speeds do you think that's uh do you think that's justified his decisions like the fact that i mean right if he can tighten up at the back he, he's you know, he's only lost one game and he's scoring for fun but again this is the We've touched on the speed thing a lot. Like I think you you can make it work. I've I've only got nine speed. Yeah, yeah. I've only got nine speed fullbacks and I've done pretty well. Um I've just I set up to be tough and flat at the back, you know, like do your mm-hmm. zones, do your job, go in hard and, and get it done, you know. Sometimes I've I've played play out of defense depending on who I'm playing, but yeah, I, I you can make it work and he's showing like he's he's doing all right. It's just some frustrating draws, isn't it? It's more than anything. That's, that's it. Yeah, uh, I think that's going to be more tactical decisions than um, uh, the the fact he's only got nine speed. If I'm honest, yeah, because I, I, I mean, for me, I, I think he's got a crack inside. I mean, you, you've got the like, so he's got a, like a 101 40 PV free roll in Omar. Um, yeah, he's got he's got absolutely fantastic wingers in like Slater. Who, you know, obviously him and Martin can debate who's the real Slater. <laughs> um which they do regularly yeah uh you know he's got he's got cracking player and even the forward Marja is is, is a cracking cracking player mm-hmm. you know 30, 30, 102 37 um center forward with t- that's gonna be that's got to cause problems for teams but it and it does you can see in the league yeah it really does he's yeah. got an average rate of 90 for god's sake so yeah clearly which, which, does cause which, problems and what? But do you, do you think there might be a problem there with his depth in defence? I mean, obviously he's conceding a lot. That's been a bit of a problem for him. Yeah. Do you think a uh, bit more depth there? Outside you, what do you them think, top Dave? three, Dave? one of them was injured, didn't it? Kenny being injured. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's only got five fit. What are your mm. thoughts, Dave? He's not got much in defence, to be be honest with you, unless he's got it in mm. his reserves. Where he's overloaded yeah. field, but uh, yeah, he's. Uh, he seemed to have gone down the uh, SA route uh, by the looks, but uh, that Marges, if he can improve his control, what a player. 21 goals with five control. Amazing, isn't it? <laughs> like, with yeah. five control, 21 he ob- goals. He obviously just hits it. <laughs> yeah. That's that sort of re- reminds me of like a time. Manchester United version of Lukaku. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> Absolute beast with no control. But that that whole defense would worry me because, like, his midfield yeah. on point. 
Do you know what I mean? Marja clearly knows where the goal is. Maybe some of them draws are the fact that you concede in silly some because the top two are the only ones that are actually his. And after that, it's not the greatest, is it? Like at all? No, no. It would definitely be something that I would look at. And he's got he's got pieces that he could use in that midfield. He's not using all of them. You know, there there are a couple in there that I think he's just going to have to bite the bullet and accept that he's got to swap out to get a couple of defenders in. Yeah, very true. Very true. And I, I thought we'd have also a look at the the top team, and we you know, we could sort of uh, see see how they're looking. Santa Clara, managed by Liam Jackson, a, a very very nice side there. Yeah, look at that keeper! Wow. Yeah, absolutely insane. So, do you know what? <laughs> that that keeper, I wouldn't go anywhere near because of his speed. I wouldn't go. Oh, anywhere. you I, would. I you would. You'd I sign him up. No, honestly, I look at oh, I look man. at movement and speed before I ever look at PV. I wouldn't go so anywhere for, near. So, for that. people for people listening, this is a this is a guy called Fikara, hundred and one oh eight, thirty nine PV goalkeeper, yeah. ten star reflexes with presence and and loyalty. Yeah, I wouldn't. And pop. I, I wouldn't. But five speed. So yeah, for me, it would maybe it's an OCD thing, but yeah, like I know he would want too much, and I wouldn't be comfortable. Like I haven't got. Yeah, I couldn't. I couldn't handle. It. I haven't got any keeper in any team that's less than seven speed, and I don't even look at them if they're if they're not. Eighty seven percent AR. Mm? Yeah. yeah. What's and, your what's what's your thoughts on that though, Dave? I mean, like in regards to speed on a goalkeeper. Um, never really been an issue for me. You know, it's not something mm. that concerns me. Um, obviously, the game is evolving. So perhaps I should look at that. But if he's got 87% AR, he can come to Mainz any day of the week. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't mind that myself, actually, to be fair. I, I would, I'd have someone like that. I wouldn't really bother. You know, I suppose maybe funny. if I was playing like, sweeper keeper, I'd be, I'd I be a bit more. I wouldn't do that, but speed never really bothers me in any of the other places. But in keeper, it, it bugs me. I don't understand. Mm. I've all, but I've always been like that. I've always movement and speed has to be high for me. Like in my head, they could be a 34 PV, but if it's nine and nine, I can work with that. You know, I did it in Norcop and I had a 34 PV. He had two nines and I put stuff. I, one of the best keepers I've had. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a weird one. It is a weird one for me, but yeah, I don't, uh, I, I don't touch him less than seven. Fair play. Fair play. Maybe that's why I'm second. I don't <laughs> <laughs> and another side to sort of touch on is um uh, yeah we're, we're doing third place here now actually is uh toby marsh's brescia uh, another crack inside scoring goals for fun not really conceded 15 i mean a very stingy defense and you can see why looking at that team i mean he's got an incredible team there absolute like for me that's the best Beastly. team we've we've seen of nothing against the others but i would say brescia on paper, best team that I've looked at in the ones that you've sent across for us to look at. Mm. There, yeah, yeah. I, I'd, I'd have to immense. agree. That, I'd have to agree. That is an immense side. Look at Tonali. Uh, it, it, like, it's disgusting. <laughs> he is filthy, isn't Tenali he? Tonali is absolutely and I, and I quite like the. I like, quite like the forward as well. Uh, I think he's a, a 40 PV target man. Yeah, Ed, Edmondson. I mean, he, he would slot in quite well at, uh, at Sturm Graz, I've heard, Daryl. Yes, he would. He would. <laughs> he would be the only, he was last week he, he fight. yeah the only he was, yeah he was a scout yeah we spread it on he the podcast he was 125 million scout he fight he oh was in, this the guy in, from the transfer roundup yeah he came into the wow. game at 13 Jesus Jesus Christ he's imagine, incredible like, finding that in your scouts I'd have fits I'd have sold everyone just to get him in oh I, my, my, yeah, my but, luck is yeah, I, I would you find you turn <laughs> you want to him? Uh, yeah do you know what my my thing is i i would have found if i would have found him someone would have outbidded me for him by like 100 grand or something Mark and i'd be sitting there i'd be sitting there heartbroken over being a stingy git <laughs> <laughs> but yeah that that's the best team i've seen in the league he just needs to put it together yeah. momentum and stuff to yeah, I mean, you, there's there's nothing you can fault there, is there? There's nothing nah. you can look at there and say, oh, he needs to do this, he needs to do that. It, that is an incredible squad. So hats hats off to Toby. Maybe yeah, that if, is... you, if you want to split hairs, maybe a bit more pace in his midfield. Maybe the speed. Maybe get a couple of fast guys. Other than that, that's me mm -hmm. like being real 
pedantic. Super you know? picky. Yeah, yeah, super picky. But if you wanted to do something, that would be the only thing that maybe he'd look at doing. But other than that, that team is that team is filth. Yeah, and uh, sort of at the other end of the, ta- uh, the table, um, right near sort of the, the foot of the table, is John Parkins Lecce. Uh, struggling a bit, but again, not a terrible side. That's actually quite a good side. We're talking like, you know, 38 PV centre-backs with determination and pop, 104-38 in... Uh, it has got a good keeper Cull- too. Cull- Goalkeeper's quality. He's got Decore, who's a beast of a centre midfielder. Byro, the, the centre forward, is a beast. I mean, that that's a very, very strong side. It would be interested to see what he thinks has gone wrong because yeah, that is a good team. See that for me, there's nothing different there than what we've seen with Naves Tondela. Yeah, very that, similar. Very like maybe even on paper, maybe better. And that, you know, I'm not saying it, that Naves team's bad, but maybe if you looked at that on paper, you would probably think they are in where Naif is in the league. If you were going on paper, that's a very yeah. good team. But yeah, as you say, it's just not, just not really happened, does it? Again, no. look, at, look at the draws. Him and Nathan. Goes to, sh- goes to draws, show, isn't it? it? I mean, like you, know, get, you can have a great team, but if you don't get the tactics right, yeah, it's true. Hey, what are your thoughts, Dave? Yeah, good team. Hell of a forward line. Um, yeah. it'd be interesting to know what he's going to do with his twelve UE points. That suggests he's in a bit of. Uh, he doesn't know what to do with the team, really. What would you do there, Dave? If, if you, you, yeah, you're, t- you're taking. So let's say you were taking a hypothetically, you're taking a second team. Let's chase your team. What, what would you do with those points? Um, oh, no, that's a question and a half. Um, God, yeah. I'd, I'd be thinking of adding something to Decore for me. Yeah, I mean, free kicks is not really much of an essay. Yeah, I'd be thinking composure for me. Yeah, you know, to control in the middle of the park, definitely. Mm. Be a beast of a centre midfielder. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm not a massive fan of pro. You know, I know it keeps um, players motivated, but, you know, if Byro's not banging in the goals, then I'd, I'd be tempted to take that off and put something else on. To try yeah, and get exactly. it I'm very surprised to see like a, a centre forward slash kind of target man, more of a centre forward though, with flair. That that's it's a bit odd. of an odd one. Seven as well. Yeah, because I mean, you know, to to really unlock the full potential of of flair, you you really want pace, but um, yeah. pace and control. But that's it's, not, yeah, it's a bit of a... no, it's just two sort of lower ones, isn't it? So. Mm-hmm. It's, yeah, nice player, but I just think he's not best equipped with what he's got. See, I, so like, some, some for me, I understand why he's still got them because there's there's nothing there that stands out to put points on. No, you no, know? no. Like other than something on Decore, which I could probably get, there isn't there isn't much that stands out that hasn't already got something, you know. So maybe he's just storing them up, waiting for that. Piece of gold. That right player. Yeah, yeah, to, to step up. So be interesting to see. But yeah, it's, uh, there's nothing there that would immediately go, I have to, have to put it on him. You know what I mean? Mm hmm. Yeah. Definitely. Oh, well, cheers, guys. I mean, yeah, but we'll, we'll quickly fire through the other divisions in, in the South and, uh, you know, get your reactions, what, what you think of, uh, of the state of each division. I mean, uh, let's go, let's go to the Southern Prem. Obviously, started there. Oh, all, all top Jesus. three lost wow. this week. Wow! Getafe Getafe lost one nil to uh, Ross's Levante, who are really starting uh, to put a, put a run together. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Atletico they lost uh, to one nil to Phil Chins into Milan, uh, and that's the first time Inter have beaten Atletico in, in one one two one. And obviously, we we lost. Uh, we were cheated by. <laughs> <laughs> no, we we lost to uh, to Jay's Benfica, two um, one. So yeah, I mean, it's it's a very very interesting. Uh, do you, well, let me ask you this: do you, do you think Levante can get out of this? Don't see why not. Yeah. If anyone can, Start Ross can. Like, yeah. Um. Yeah, maybe he can. It'll be, he will be annoyed that Juventus won, but they've closed the gap on Atlanta and Bologna. 
Again, they picked up draws too. Yeah, it's, it won't be easy, but he, he yeah, he's capable. Like, capable. Yeah, very much so. Big, big games coming up this week, though, um, with with Levante. I mean, Levante play Roma this week. Oof. That's... Jeez. He has to that is massive. That is absolutely massive. Yeah, he has to. I mean, you, you, don't, you don't get much more of what, yeah, the old cliche from Match of the Day in the past one of you, and they used to call him, refer to him as six pointers. I mean, that is a, a massive, massive game. Yeah, he, ha- he has to win that. He has to. They both have to. Yeah, I mean, do, do, do you see it as whoever wins that is potentially staying up? They would have done themselves some big favors beating the other one. Yeah. It would put the other one in a, in a, bit of trouble um because then there'll be three points from them depending on what Juventus do Juventus got Juventus have got uh, At- Atalanta oh my Atalanta gosh. at home oh my God. yeah huge <laughs> weeks huge weeks huge weeks yeah yeah massive yeah. That, at, the, at, will, at the table that will change a lot of things because if like part of Ross will want to draw out of that game I'm pretty sure and him to beat Roma that would be the best if you just look at it from a Levante point of view you probably want to draw at Juventus and him win so he gets out of the bottom three and there's the gap is closed. And the gap's closed. Yeah. 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 Good shout. So, um, but yeah, massive week for all four of them. Goodness me. We're going to have to scout them games. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and and for, for me being in the league uh, and yeah, it'd be interesting again to get you, you, you guys thoughts on it. The, the big result for me was Barcelona, Jamie's Barcelona beating uh, Ben Bagshaw's Real Madrid 4-1. I mean, I, I would always say I, I would never be able to pick who would win between them. Both good managers, both cracking sides, but 4-1 is is pretty exceptional. Yeah. I'll, I'll just throw one. Yeah. And, but it's goals. Sorry. Real Madrid need goals, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. But they've got an amazing team. Surprises me. What, do you, what are your thoughts, Dave? It shocked to be honest with you. It's got to, got to be down tactically. There's you know possibly yeah. He's made he's made a lot of moves in recent weeks, big moves, and possibly that's unsettled the team. You know mm-hmm. yeah yeah. But all one well, nobody nobody likes getting pumped, and you know there's got to be somewhat that he's because he was in decent form. Yeah, he was. He has, to yeah. Turn it yeah, yeah, yeah. He started the season badly. He's moved up, you know, and I think he, I think Ben will be shocked at that himself, you know. Yeah, I think so. I think take, so. Yeah, and you know, you've got to take the positives from these big defeats and and find out what you've done wrong, where it's gone wrong, and then you know, plug it for next time. Indeed, indeed. You tell him. Uh, Dave, we'll you tell him. <laughs> uh, moving on to Southern Division Two, I, I think. I think we might have a a, a candidate for the f- one of the first teams to go up. I mean, obviously, I think Art Media are probably going to be it to get promoted first. But Andy Young's Mallorca, nine points clear in Division 2 from uh, ahead of Lazio and Genoa, uh, managed by Steve Watkins and Steve Oliver, uh, oh, respectively. Yeah. Oliver's uh, I mean, that him. is... Oh, yeah. I mean, Steve Oliver's a cracking manager, really turned things around at Man United in in the UK as well. But... Andy's put a hell of a run together, hasn't he? When we had him, or when we did the manager interview with him, you could mm. hear that he he has his team pretty much where he wants it. You know, like he knows mm. what he's built there. You could hear the way he was talking about it, and it's showing. Like, what an amazing season! Twenty eight goals, and only nine conceded, lost once, and they're all wins. Won twelve out of sixteen. Only Dave's mates yeah. are better than him. You know. <laughs> <laughs> and only because you know I was allowed <laughs> <laughs> and, and the thing for me though as well is he's got nothing to fear I mean yeah, you've got Getafe who've come up uh, and they're top in the league you've got uh, Bologna came up and they're, they're doing quite nicely in mid-table and obviously Levante that we said I mean okay they're, they're in relegation now but they've had, you know, massive turnaround there in form doing really really well I mean he, he's, he can't go be going up with any fear can he surely not not with the team he's got. And, it's oh. it's mental. I've, I yeah. think he got five or six players in the nineties this week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's crazy. Absolutely That's... disgusting creation that he made there. 
<laughs> and and uh, talking to him, you could hear that he he kind of knows it. Like it wasn't like so much arrogance. He knows what he's confidence. done. It was yeah, confidence. It was confidence, wasn't it? It's, it's in, quite confidence. Yeah, definitely, yeah. definitely. And I said once we spoke to him on the pod, you could just uh, you could just hear that he knows how good his team is and he knows how it's to play. He's set it up. He's maybe been lucky in some transfers, but it's all come together and and the results are showing that. Indeed, yeah. And then there's a, a, a little pack chasing chasing that top three. Um, you've got Dale Price's Porto, Dave Martin's Payok, um, Kieran Sevilla, and Jace, Jesse Causley's um, so uh, sorry Granada. Do, do you see any of them possibly catching up the likes of Genoa and Lazio? Uh, Genoa and Lazio are too inconsistent, so why not? Wide open for you, Dave. Do you think it is wide open? You know, whoever strings two wins together. I mean, Genoa, you know, with, with Steve taking over, you know, they've been on good form anyway, but if he if he continues to uh, keep at them, that you know, they've got nothing to fear, really, but um, the rest of them have. It's it, it's open. There's just yeah. two yeah. inconsistencies there. So I, I would fancy Genoa to go up purely on, you know, you've got someone of Steve's quality managing with the likes of Neymar and uh, John Stones, Arnold, Van Dijk, um, those sort of players, that calibre, I, I would feel he's got to be a sure fit. That, you know, having that combination of quality players and quality manager, for me, I, I would feel that's got to be good enough, surely. Uh, I would probably agree with you on that one. Like Steve Oliver having the players that he's got now will be quite frightening. Payok, for me, will be the ones I think could cause a shock. He's got a good team there, David. Um, I like them. Uh, there might be ones yeah. to watch, but it wouldn't shock me if it stays as it is. But I think Payok could cause a shock. He's been terrific. He's been yeah, absolutely terrific. They, and they, very, yeah, very, very, good, very, very good team that he's got there too. So uh, I would say Mallorca in Genoa. And then it could be a pick them all the way down to Granada, to be honest with you. It could literally be anyone. But if I was going to be gun to head, I'd go with Payok. How about you, Dave? Who, who, who do you think might nick a third spot if you get the yeah, gun to your head sort of thing again? Team wise, Lazio. Oh, okay. So you think it might stay stay the same way? If 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 they get a bit of consistency, I think it could. But yeah. I could also see both Lazio and Genoa dropping points. So you know, Celta Vigo's. A bit far off, but he's starting to come into form. The problem with Rich's team is he tends to go a bit too defensive when he's playing the big boys. Mm. Uh, That's interesting. You know, I don't think he'll go down, but I think he's he's left himself with too much to to go up. Really, you can see from his eight draws, he does do a lot of uh, Jay's parking the bus, <laughs> and I think he's got a good <laughs> team not to. Yeah, if only Jay did park the bus. <laughs> Same as we, we've got a team Bastard. like that with Groningen, you know, uh, Groningen, they park the bus and their team's good enough not to. Like if they had a bit that's more the thing, though. That's, yeah, they and that, that's the thing, it. though. That's yeah, what yeah. I was saying to Faddy for like most of the second half of last season and most of the season, Jay's not parking it. He's playing really well, really well and deserving what he's getting. Um, uh, yeah, and I think we'll finish off quickly because obviously we've still got, we've still got to ask uh, yeah, some questions to... To, to Dave and um, probably touch on the transfer roundup and that before we wrap up. <laughs> Terry's so just, just for, like the, the time interest. and he's scared. Yeah, yeah. And, and I'm, I'm worried. I'm, I'm like looking and I'm thinking Dara's going to start texting me in a minute saying I'm going to fucking knife you in a minute. So, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, D- Division 3, I, I think, you know, what a run by Andy Davidson with CD Alaves here, uh, 37 points, only lost one game. Absolutely flying here. Um, but yeah, he has got quality there behind him, chasing him. Uh, Sal Gueros under Gavin Duffy, quality manager again. Entella under Mark, brilliant manager again. I mean, is and, that too much of a gap, though? Is, Six and, points. And Phil and Ian and are very good managers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Ian Windsor, yeah. You know I mean? a- Andy Proctor, Villarreal, yeah. He's, yeah. he's still hovering around there. But I think yes, I think the gap's too big. I think Alaves up, and I think that the, the next two stay the same. What what surprises me, and I'd be interested actually to get your thoughts on it, guys, is obviously you know two two uh, well fifth from bottom, two two above the relegation is sorry fourth from bottom, one against above relegation is Fozzy uh, Mick Foster's Betis, and in the drop zone is Percy's uh, Fiorentina. 
I mean, he hasn't long yeah, had them I, though, has he? Like that was. Um, yeah, I, but the thing that I was going to say like, was, yeah, I mean, I think I think Fozzie's got the experience to turn this around and, and push on up, but Percy's actually starting to get. You know, since he's took over, he's turned it around. That's a yeah. I mean, eight points in five games. Mm. That's not bad. Yeah, yeah. We know damn well what I mean. I mean, Dave know damn well what Percy can do. Like Locker and I are, are a very tough team to, to beat, and Danny would have already had a half decent team there. Like Danny doesn't sign nonsense you know so percy will have something to work with he will be very pleased with that form and yeah if i was braga and i was osasuna i would be a little bit nervous i would be fair play fair play a- any thoughts dave before we get to uh to grilling you in a minute <laughs> yeah i mean uh percy's doing well with fiorentina um i think he's got a great team at Betis, it is a top team on paper, but I think he struggles tactically now and again. I have had mm-hmm. discussions about it, and uh, sometimes, well, most of the time, he's not getting it right at the minute, you know, because he's down there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know? very much so. He does like his deals, and he's, uh, he's he does, very yeah. so he's a top bloke in my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> We we, we lovely love, stuff, lovely stuff. We love Percy. We're, 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 take, we're carrying the Division 4 flag all the way up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're all flying through, aren't you, boys? Yeah. Okay, well, let's move on. We're going to uh, obviously interview you now, Dave. I mean, um, we're going to try and sort of like every now and then try and get a, a manager on the spotlight. And the interesting thing about this one was obviously you, your name had come up from other people that we've sort of talked to and sort of say, you know, who would you like mostly like members and stuff like that. So who would you like to hear from? But also I, I spoke to like to Ben at UE and I was like, what, what do you think? We you know, get, get some input from him as well. Again, your name came up and yeah, I thought it was a great chance to try and get, get someone who as experienced as yourself um, on the, on the pod and, you know, share some insight and, and obviously, you know, Get to get to know you a bit better and you, yeah, your past in the game and uh, etc. So yeah, cool. yeah, we're good to go. Let's do it. Let's do it. So obviously, I mean, let's let's start off with. I mean, how how did you even find UE in the first place? And yeah, what was your first games? If you can first, remember, first game was Sampdoria in game ninety. Um, <laughs> yeah, I it must have been through match or shoot, you know, the usual. Oh, yeah, yeah. And obviously then it was old paper through the post. And uh, I got the buzz there. Um, it wasn't a game that was that busy, to be honest with you. And I don't think they all were back in, in them days. But I didn't know any different. And, uh, yeah, built a good team, which always helped. And uh, actually it was game, game... It was around that time, I think the first hard format game had just come out. Was it 89 or 87? 87, and I think they, the forums just became, during that time, when I was in game 90, part of part of the game. So they were the old pro boards. So it was a bit more... Oh, wow. Showing yeah. show your age a bit here, Dave, as well, mate. We are. <laughs> <laughs> the stuff of legends, myth and legends, old pro what boards. Was the, Jesus, what was the guys. appeal, though? Like, what kept you in, would you say? What part of it was what created that buzz? What was suckered you in? I've, I've, I've played the, I've played play by mails for years, you know, when I was at, when I was at school and that. But uh, I just, you know, you, you you turn to drinking women, yeah, and then I've, yeah, yeah, 100%. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Some, some of, some of think, us never hmm. leave, bro. Okay, <laughs> well, <laughs> <laughs> it's just a case of get, you know. I, I think I seen a, a magazine one day. I was like, yeah, let's let's give that a go, and it was just. I don't know. It was just the format of everything just appealed to me. You know, it was it was a lot more basic back then, and maybe that's what I'm basic. So maybe that's what was you know. Did you, do you prefer the, it there? Do you prefer like the uh, sort of I suppose the era then with like you no, know, there probably there wasn't any karma, there wasn't essays and part. And do you prefer that to to what we've got now? It was or, probably. Uh, uh, probably a bit easier back then because you know you could you could scout a player that got on your first team every single week, mm. and you know I suppose at the time it, that was exciting, but for the longevity of the game, you don't need that. Mm. 
Drake, the first one for weeks. <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I mean, what, what, what sort of keeps you going though? I mean, like obviously, yeah, you, like you say, you was in game ninety. I'm assuming you've probably been in uh, many others in between that and this one. I mean, what what's what's the the lure? What keep what keeps you the well, the allure? Sorry, what keeps you coming back? The buzz, really. And now there's there's a lot more interaction, you know. Mm. I I do love the forums, you know, but obviously these days they're they're a lot quieter. Um, but you know, you can always have a bit of banter with someone, you know. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, and. If, if you're having a bad day, because we all have bad days, we've all got problems, we're all stressed at times, you know, you can just talk to one of the lads and that's it. Your problems have gone away for an hour. <laughs> look, at, look at your turn, pretend you're a fo- real football manager. Love that. That's what I do. You know. Have you ever walked down the street? So I put an earphone in my ear with no sound, so one of the wireless, and I interview my, myself like as one of my players. Do you ever do that? <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> so I, there do, you go. I do my... Yeah. I do my... my, my, oh, my, no. my I, I, on the way to work on Tuesday. Yeah, I, put, I, I put my... I put one head, headphone in so people think I'm on my phone, and then I literally like talk to myself <laughs> about my squad. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I do that. I do that a lot. <laughs> he, 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 pretend, he pretends to be a manager for uh, for pull, pulling purposes, and then he leaves them stranded. <laughs> yeah, lips and all. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh much. dear. I was talking to Richard Webster the other week before we left, and he was he'd done a deal, and he was saying, "I know I've got the worst player with the worst untrainables, but he's a known player." And I'm like just thinking to myself. He's there. He's got this picture in his head of these players in his team, and he's 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 watching the game in his head. Hmm. Yeah. 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 yeah that just, sounds like I, that sounds like a faddy move, way. isn't it? It's like he's crap, but yeah, but he's a, he's a professional. He's a real player. Yeah. <laughs> so it's swaying it, faddy. You, you, your offer's still shit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh dear. But yeah. And, uh, is there? How how has the changes been in the game for you though? How, how have you found the changes? I mean, like, yeah, we obviously went to I think Pot wasn't it first, and then or was it Essays first? One one of the two. Then you know the other followed, um, and then obviously we've had Karma and and so on and so forth. I mean, how how have you found them? Do, do you do you think the balance is right in the game, or would you like to see any of them gone or something else added? What, what would be your feelings on it? Uh, I'm I'm happy with the way things are, to be honest with you. Um, I just love the game. Um, there's always changes that will be made, but, you know, I'll just go with the flow. I, I had a two or three years off before 1-2-1, one, one, mm-hmm. and I always said, I'm not coming back, I'm not coming back, I'm not that sad to come back, I'm not that sad. <laughs> I think I was just, you know, trying, trying to grow up in my eyes, you know, but this is growing up. Yeah, I, I have to admit, I was kind of the same, and it was just like, yeah, you hear like, I think it was you, Daryl, wasn't it? You, you and Faddy, and a couple of the other guys are like, I oh, was joining one, two. Are you joining? They're like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I start hearing yeah. like Daryl's in it, Faddy's in it. You know, all, all, yeah, people I've I've known in the game for years are all joining one, two, one. It's like, all right, beam me up, Sky. Yeah, yeah. that was pretty I... much it as well. Like, um, it was just I started seeing the names and conversations and people are, you know, that you just pass it in social media and you know i'm like fucking out it'd be good to get in a game with them and lockdown helped a lot do you know what i mean like it really did i was like this is perfect we're all gonna sit at home talk shit manage sturm grats because i was doing a sturm grats save on football manager which is why i'm there and that's why i specifically <laughs> asked for them um and i was well upset because the good players on football manager were not the good players that ben decided to make so i was a bit upset but um yeah it was it was that it's the appeal of some of the old names that were coming back. And is it still a beta? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, he had to get that. In no, we're not going there. Right? We're not going there. Yeah, you can see where the shit housing comes from from the yeah. transfer roundup. Oh, you can. Now? now that you spoke to him, <laughs> little sly just... digs, yeah. little poke. He's just poking the dog, and he come on, come on, yeah, fucking yeah. bite. <laughs> <laughs> but is, is there any, anything else you? You feel like, well, 
is is there anything you would have changed to this game? How how this particular game one two one has been? Um, I'd probably. Uh, have... I, uh, sorry, I was just going to say, not not necessarily just the game as well. I mean, like how you have approached it, how you know you've done your team, everything. How 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 has it gone for you? And what, any any change you'd have made? I I started the game playing fullbacks and wingers because yep. that's what I ended up with, and quickly realised I ain't got a freaking clue what I'm doing with them. Um, but I'm always pot mad. Rather than essays, I'm pop mad. And I just pop players, pop players, pop players. And up until the end of season two, I thought it was the wrong way to go. Because they've been slow risers. But they did rise. I had big squads then with loads of pop players. And it then allowed me in season three to start dealing, like I like to do. And I think that has gone perfectly for me. So don't think I'd go back on that. Yeah. 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 And, you know, there's, there's players I've bought that I shouldn't have. You know, we all do it. There's players I've potted I shouldn't have. Yeah. If anyone's yeah. on, if anyone's that, on a... at least we part, I'll buy them. <laughs> <laughs> Even if they've got full speed, which I've done. Really? Wow. Yeah. I'll have to have a look later. <laughs> I got rid of them. <laughs> They, they 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 go in and out quicker uh, than fucking I do women with fucking Dave's transfers. They do. Oh dear, oh god. <laughs> Poppy. Another another one of Daryl's stories is going to come up soon. Sure. Yeah, I've got I've got <laughs> I have got one from this week actually. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, well, we have to if we've got time, we have to drop that in and the yeah. end be be the bombshell to go out on. But, uh, <laughs> It, it, here's, here's, here's one, I, and it's, I think it was an interesting one, Dave, that um, we sort of had on the last chat where obviously we couldn't get Steve on, but yeah, we took we sort of messaged him and, and <laughs> yeah. Daryl yeah. relayed it. Yeah. Um, I thought I, did well, a very so, good, I think uh, I did a very good impression, actually. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you did. Yeah, he loved, he loved it. But um, <laughs> is there any sort of like words of wisdom you could sort of, if you could pass on anything to like new managers and stuff? Because there are, they're even now they're still... Managers that are new, fairly new, struggling, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, in, in the game. That you, you know, any pearls of wisdom that you could pass on. What, what would be your sort of your thoughts on that? Avoid Fifey. Oh, fuck it. <laughs> 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 man, oh, man knows how to do. He gets what that? he wants. Why does he just want to say that? I've never seen that version of Fifey ever in my life. Like I found him one of the easiest guys to deal with because, yeah, because he knows what he wants. So I, maybe it's just yeah, me. Like, it, I, I, I see I, what he puts up, and if I've got that, I go to him, and he's yeah. like, yeah, let's do it. It's how I got Suarez. Like, he was very clear what he wanted. Yes, it was yep. it was a risk because that the Lubick was all nines, and I just potted him, and I think I put leader on him. No, maybe not. I think it was just pot. But five people was like, I want him. I give you Suarez. And I was thinking, well, actually, I've got a new, I've got Nosserino. Suarez makes a really good experience uh, spine. Do you know what I mean? I was like, let's go. I've always found five really, really easy. To deal with, so you know, <laughs> it's funny. No, I, he, he, <laughs> he's done sensational in this game. He's he's he's, he's a very good manager. He's, very good he's, manager. He's, he's done what he wanted to do, and you know he sticks to his guns. So you know, fair play to him. He's uh, he's learnt from me. <laughs> yeah, I. Do you know what though? I I feel like I know people sort of like you, you hear a couple of comments, don't you? It's just like, wow, yeah, he, he wants a lot, and it's like, look, if you know what you want. That's how it works. Yeah, I mean, that's how it works easier. I find like, like some. I get I got a lot of stick from Daryl Fanny at the start of the podcast when we first started doing them about how hard I was to deal with. But like anyone that has dealt with me, dealt with me in, in this game has been like I've been really easy because I've just sort of came out straight off the bat and said this is exactly what I'm after, and I put it on the forum, I put it on the WhatsApp, and yeah, you know, it's like basically just don't offer me anything that doesn't meet that. You know, um, you, it, it's you put a picture on. Sorry, say again. So you put a picture of the earth on there? Pretty much, yeah. The moon on a stick, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you've been, you've been um, like that since 108 to deal with. Don't even try that. Yeah, yeah. But it's just like, it's, it's, 
yeah, I set out my 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 stall right off the off right from the off. Um, that like I wanted like midfielders with nothing less than a seven and everywhere, like aggression, vision. I wanted to be able to play a multitude of tactics. Sometimes maybe that's been a bit of a bad thing because I've my side's been more of a jack of all trades and a master of none. Like I don't think we'll win title, yeah, you know, big titles like the league or Champions League, but we can be competitive because we're flexible, and I like that. I'd rather be like that. Um, yeah, I, each their own. Women. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, let's not mention women and flexible. Dar- Darren will get too excited. <laughs> you, you, you married a bendy yeah. ones. It's the right advice. Yeah, right. you married all, all new managers. <laughs> married a bendy ones. That's, that's Daryl's <laughs> pearls of wisdom for the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Daryl, any, any questions for you, man? Uh, Before I'm gonna, I'm gonna just chuck a couple in a minute from from the no, the like Discord. I, I I chat to Dave quite a lot. Hit the Discord ones. Yeah. Okay. So uh, obviously uh, the first one was from Kieran. He asked, will, "Will we get a live stream transfer roundup from the man himself?" <laughs> no. Uh, no. Aaron, <laughs> just, no. a jingle. just a jingle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I tried. I said I suggested it, and he was like, <laughs> "No fucking chance." <laughs> so, yeah. Um, Martin Banks has asked, he's, he said, uh, question for Dave, since game 99, when Dave absolutely bossed the Bundesliga from season three, fair play to him. How does he feel UE has changed since then? Is it harder to achieve and maintain that level of success? Do you need a different approach to achieve that kind of success? Is it even possible for that team, for a team like that to be successful again? So, and he's, he's also said sorry for so many questions in one. Um, I mean, I... The get the game's changed, but also the managers have changed. There's a lot more managers, and there's a lot more experienced managers. So, I I, I don't think anybody's going to dominate any game from now on. No, I I agree. You know, you've got too much. Too, I mean, in game ninety nine, my Kaiserslautern team was off the radar. However, tactically, I didn't need to do anything. You put the best play, players on the pitch, you won. This de- th- these days it is a lot more tactical. I, I agree completely. Uh, I, I've said that many times. I had a lot of success in I think it was one oh eight with Wolfsburg, um, and it was just purely down to the team. I had no fucking clue what I was doing tactically, and that's why a couple of times I lost like in Champions League finals with them. Um, I think I lost one against Man United, and I I still I still only lost three two I think because I I had so much firepower. If I if I knew what I was doing tactically and defensively probably would have been all right probably would have won it but <laughs> it was just one of those things that's absolute dog shit at ta- i didn't have a clue it's just that you know, i had lionel messi yeah chuck him as an inside forward that'll do <laughs> um lewis, okay. lewis asked, oh, sorry, comment, comment. i always played keep possession pressure playing that was it you know yeah i think i think i did something like that i think it was like that and then link link play create space with i had like a uh, four three three and i played messi as an inside forward between the wide forwards Nice. Yeah, he's just dominant, absolutely dominant like that. Uh, another question from Dave, for Dave uh, from Lewis at Ajax. Uh, congratulations, uh, Lewis, by the way, on your first win since God knows when. What? Um, he, he did it. Yeah. He actually <laughs> finally. Won. He won again. Finally, yeah. Okay, hold on. We, yeah. need, we need a moment here. Let's just absorb it in. Listen to the sound of that. When this I'm, podcast I'm, plays, you two I'm boys down. will hear the music that is right, happening right now. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going to Lewis winning a game of football. Holy fuck, boys. We'll, did, we'll have to did. drop that, that that intro music. Just, just blend it in now. Just, yeah. just enjoy <laughs> that he's the crazy son of a bitch did it. <laughs> uh, but he, he asked, what was your reaction to your result today? And was it uh, was it linked to the reports of a man running around naked in the rain? <laughs> For sake. Oh my god! <laughs> well, let, let's be honest with you. After the initial delight, Daryl pissed on my cornflakes by saying he didn't send his fucking turn. I wasn't going to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know that you would have known without Armstrong playing or a master tactic that something was wrong. I, 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 I wasn't going to say yeah. nothing, and I'm like, he knows how much like Armstrong yeah. has helped me. And if he sees no master tactic, he's going to be. To be fair, I was. I was delighted Armstrong didn't play because he'd have been down that wing, crossing it in <laughs> to the player to to in. Just like a target man <laughs> should, they tell. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> and, and finally, uh, Rees, uh, Sheffield United manager, he's asked, uh, actually, sorry, it's two. Uh, Rees has asked, do you have a model for the perfect, how the perfect squad should look? 
or at least uh, have an idea of what you want look at, or what you're looking for in the market? Or do you just bring in players as and when you take they take your fancy? Um, mixture, to be honest with you. But, you know, I play the game differently to a lot of other people because I will happily play five and six-speed centre-backs and play offside trap. Which oh, okay. most wouldn't. But, you know, for me... Do you, I'd play, rather... that, do you play that with a sweeper, though? Surely. Um... Not necessarily, but you, yeah. Ooh, interesting. I agree. But the, the thing is, for me, with offside trap, it's more important to have a high judgment. Yes, yes. Speed. Because even if you've got the speed, if you've got low judgment, the ball's gone, the ball's gone, been played past your defenders, they ain't getting back anyway, because you're up against 9, 10 speed forwards, whatever. Okay. Yeah. So for me, they're not back, they're getting a shot on goal. All right. If you've got a five-speed goalkeeper, he might not get out in time to cover it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. See, well, hence, okay. hence Errol's love for goalkeepers with speed. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. uh, no, fight, fight. We all play it differently, don't we? We do. We do definitely. Yeah. Um, last question was from Andy Proctor, who's asked, "How do you go about keeping clean sheets in this game? As no matter what I do, I can see two or three goals per game." Hmm. Uh, Pass. <laughs> I, I don't keep clean sheets either. Quite, quite literally, quite literally, pass it, pass it. Uh, um, um, for me, I, like, I, I, go, going hard has been a godsend. But again, I, I can see goals like Dave. I win games 2-1, 3-2. You know, yeah. it's, it's very rarely to nil. I, like when I scored five, I still conceded one. It's, you know, so... Yeah, I, uh, I, I would just say if you if you if your defense is dog shit, you you yeah, you got to be able to look at your turn your team sheet. And if your defense is dog shit, I mean, just go just go for the standard uh, defend deep support defense until you can work out what the fuck is going wrong. You know, if you if you desperately need just to put some points on the board and close it up a little bit, defend deep support defense and then work out what is wrong. Because obviously, without looking at a, someone's team, I I wouldn't have a clue. But that's what I would say anyway. Just to, just lock it down a bit. But anyway, yeah, we're going to thanks for that, Dave. Um, we're going to move on again because uh, interest of time and uh, not yeah. wanting Daryl to throttle me. Yeah, um, it's, it's coming. But yeah, uh, it's, it's, yeah, it's coming. <laughs> uh, but can we can we have a jingle then? Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Funny in the house. Funny in the house. It's a transfer roundup. Yeah. Oh. That was actually way better than anything Faddy's ever done, ever. <laughs> oh my ever. god, he channeled his inner Faddy. What he did, <laughs> he, and he actually was way better than him. Oh my god, Faddy is sitting somewhere crying right now. Like, Faddy, oh. Faddy, you, you sacked, mate. Yeah, Dave has to send the jingle now with That's every it. chance around. Us. That's it. We're going we're to switch to PayPal stuff, and it's yeah, Dave's going to get his bit now. Right. Um, okay. So this week's top cash buy, it was stated by an undisclosed source that Tondela didn't have enough money for a bag of chips a couple of weeks ago. But suddenly, Nath pulls 66 million out his backside to purchase the unwanted Napoli man, Wendell, who is a 23, 102, 36 centre mid with team. It seems the red light district may be Lisbon, mate. fruitful at raising funds at this time of year, especially if you're good at sucking cock. Ajax. <laughs> Ajax, who finally won a game. I can't believe it. Poor, I can't believe it. I'm yeah. in shock. Uh, have been having a horrid season Amazing. so far. Changing from fullbacks to winbacks have not steam- stemmed the flow of losses. So Lewis is trying again, raising some funds this week by selling Yaramchuk, 100 OA 37 right left forward with character to Maribor for 55 million. Brandon's paid 48 million for Colts Kramer. Oh, he sold Kramer. Uh, 30 year old 10339 anchor man. I'm quite surprised at that. Yeah. Um, yeah. He's good been player. yeah, he's been he good, good for him as well. as well. Yeah, he was a good performer. I'm quite surprised that he's done that. Uh he has 10 star judgment, but was solved after his performances against Sturm Gratz and was held fully accountable for both losses this season, probably. <laughs> but no, I'm quite surprised that he's he's sold that, especially like not in a deal like just for cash, because he's been a good player for him. Um, right. This week's top swap deal that didn't go through. Now, we're going to put this out here to spark a bit of debate, and we'll probably try and bring it up next week because obviously we haven't got time um, because we're happy to talk about controversy here on the podcast. And this deal was much talked about all week, leading to insults, anger, and almost bereavement. Um, So the proposed deal was between the now new West Ham manager, Jesse, uh, a.k.a. Ben, 
and uh, Mickey. Some call him <laughs> Mickey. Um, Mr. Duncan. The deal involved Bayern signing Kane. Harry Kane, 28, 107, 38 centre forward, 38 target man, 38 inside forward. GSI, Noz, all the, all the jazz. And also Diata, 102, 38 right, left uh, midfielder with flair, res and pot, and 10 speed. In return, West Ham would get Gray, 2502 39 free roll with flair, team and pot. They already have 104, 39 free roll currently. Gonzalez, 26, 137 anchor man, centre back, centre mid with leader pot. They already have 105, 38 anchor man, centre mid, 107, 38 centre mid, and 104, 39 centre back, plus 102, 36 centre back with 105, 37 centre back already. Trugainov, the Kane replacement, 25, 97, 37 tar- target man, centre forward with height, character, and pot. And Tiago, 101, 37 playmaker. They have 107, 37 playmaker and 104, 38 playmaker. Of course, all managers have dis- different ideas. So we're not saying that this is a good or bad deal for all concerned. But obviously, we like to bring up conversation pieces. The problem managers had with this deal was done without other managers making offers, despite interest being made. Other deals on the table seemingly much better. And late in the day, the deal potentially being changed, not via PM, but on the forum to try and seemingly make it look genuine, is what they were said. It does, in opinions, make it look less genuine. But as Jesse hasn't been online since it made no difference. We at the podcast are not given an opinion unless anyone wants to. But when we're asked to cover such thing, we get as many stats as possible. And we let you guys decide, as you've probably noticed over the time. So we're not given an opinion. We've laid the, de- the deal out. Yeah. It's new managers where's, where's, and teams. You know I don't know. Where's Faddy? Where's Faddy when you need him? Faddy will no doubt have <laughs> something to in. say about that. He yeah. would be in on it, Faddy mate. Faddy was already upset at the thought that Kane may even be considered for swap, let alone talked about. So, yeah, Faddy would have an opinion. But, yeah, it didn't go through. It didn't go through. So, we'll oh, leave that. Oh, okay. Yeah, it did. It's it's not. It's been blocked or something. Is that right? So, I we're going to touch yeah. on that next week, yeah? I think so. We'll see what people want to say so, about yeah. it. I, I think it'd be interesting to get all sides. Because, like, the players involved, to me, don't seem bad. It doesn't seem like one team is stripping another. So it's one of them, like, do they have to make it public? For me, do they have to? Is that what it is, every deal? Me and Dave did an 80 million transfer for an anchor man without telling anybody. So I, I don't know. If yeah, that's I the don't, argument, I don't, I, I don't like that I, argument. I, I put, I, so I, whenever I do a deal, I put it up on the swap thread on the forum. I photoshop, I photo, um, a screenshot sorry and i chuck it on all the whatsapps the discord and all that and then i do everything privately and no one gets told anything yeah like never I, goes I, never I, goes live if, if that was the I, don't, argument, I don't i don't even I, reply on the forum i don't, I, I, I will literally yeah. go straight to the private messaging yeah i i don't like if the problem was be the managers doing it behind their backs i i don't like that being the argument but that's that's just me uh, right, the Indeed. top swap deal that did go through, though, Andy Davison wanted determination throughout his whole back line. So coming to Trust Bonspoor this week was uh, Kufri. Kufri, 2,502.38 right and left back with determination character and pot. In a straight swap with Ajax for Peters, 2,499.38 left back with team leader and pot. Quadruple determination up your back line. That Dave Hammond transfer special, big bad boy Baradi. I see what you tried to do to me there. I've been practicing that when you emailed it earlier, by the way. Just so oh, you know. that's why I yeah, normally yeah. right on the podcast. I, I right. saw it like four Bs. I know what you're doing. Um, <laughs> he joined Napoli after scoring 12 in 14 for Mainz a few uh, turns ago. But after zero in three for his new club, he was on the way quite swiftly, but for a massive deal as the gravy boat wanted and finally got his man Berardi. 26, 106, 40 centre forward with Flair and GSI and Pop was heading to all the oil money with 70 million more with Kimmich. Oh my God, you got Kimmich. 2,638 sweeper <laughs> centre mid, 37 free row and playmaker with determination and team. And Gill, 20, 103, 38 centre forward with determination Naughty. leader and pot and 10 speed coming in return. I want Kimmich. Give me Kimmich. Very nice. Very Will nice. Will said, indeed. today City came begging once more for Berardi. And I said, I'm sorry, to say the slivery little snake that is Wario finally got his man. Uh, we set out terms very easily and stood firm for weeks. But once Kimmich was finally offered with Gil, it was game on. We will work hard to increase Gil's aggression when funds allow. Kimmich can offer us an instant return and help improve results. 
We said, fuck me, they can't get any worse. Amir said, <laughs> <laughs> Amir said, trimming some fat in midfield, not my belly or bell end, in order to get an absolute monster up top, which I feel completes my T. I mean team. <laughs> There you go. That <laughs> there is you have it, boys and girls. That is this week. Do you know, I've actually done well, some deals while we're doing the podcast, just to let you know. Oh, fuck <laughs> off. Yeah. I, haven't got, I haven't had anything done in weeks. I've got to try and... The Corella? Uh, no, I'm, they, they, Liam's out. Corella. I think Liam's out on the piss, he said, so he's going to get back to me tomorrow. I've sent my team. I'm like, can we try again? <laughs> can we try again? Please, let's do it. Just for fuck's sake. Uh, <laughs> right, well, on that bombshell, I'm massive massive thank you dave for for joining us that it's been brilliant having you on and uh finally nice to actually get to talk to you it's a absolute pleasure mate thank you for having me yeah it's been no good. worries no worries and obviously thank you to you daryl as ever yeah you know, wait before hold, holding we go, my hand while i fuck up so. before, we, before we go i, I know <laughs> uh, that people yeah, like my little dating stories I'm oh actually, yeah yeah I'm go actually, on finish it off with your story. i've actually got a new one so i i was chatting to a bird Everything going great, chatting, chatting, chatting. We decide to meet at a piano bar just up by me, yeah? And so I'm like, all right, I'll be there at eight. So I come bowling in the side door. I see her sitting there, and I swear to God, the lips on it, I've never seen anything so big in my life. She could, she was whispering in her own ear rolls while she was sitting there. So I just, I turned and I left, and I blocked her on WhatsApp and everywhere, and I've not spoken to her. And that is what I've done this week. And, I, and I'm sober. <laughs> And I'm sober doing this nonsense. Yeah, I literally, <laughs> I was like, no, no. You know, it would be too easy. Like, you'd be fighting to stop an argument. You would just lick her face and stick her to the window. It just, yeah, it's, it's no good for me. It was, they were not that big in the photo. It was literally all I could see. <laughs> Is that what she said? Yeah, I just, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, people. So I left her sitting there and I've not spoken to her. I haven't even offered an explanation, you know, I've just ignored her. Oh, I love it. Disgusting. If, if, if you wasn't sorry, drunk, would you have banged her? If, if it wasn't what? If you was drunk, would you have banged her? Probably. My God, oh, I, good lad. I would have, I would have, <laughs> I would have banged you when I'm drunk, mate. Don't <laughs> Damn it. It'd, it'd throw you around like a dog toy, mate. <laughs> there was nothing that I didn't fucking go for when I was drinking. Jesus. No shame. No fucking shame. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Uh, and on that completely shameless uh, bombshell there, we, we will end the podcast. Thank you very much again, guys, and uh, we'll catch you all soon.